What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today also we are carrying over with the CRST CRT track registered penetration tester track in Hack Box. This machine will be active. That's the machine name and it is all about Active Directory. So if you are new to Active Directory penetration testing, this machine is a good start. The first thing you will do is to spawn the machine, get the IP address and start in-map scan. So this is the in-map scan as you can see in the output. So we have several ports here. We have 53 DNS. Looks like there is DNS server running on the machine. And as per the nmap scan output, the operating system is Windows Server 2008 Service Pack 1. We have also port 88. There's Creepers running on the machine. And also we have 135, 139. There's also SMB share running on the machine. Other ports have open for for five and also the LDAP protocol, meaning that we have Active Directory installed over the machine and several other ports. So what what we're gonna do next? So given that we know the operating system running on the machine, Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack One with Active Directory installed, and given that we know that there's Kubernetes running on the machine, we can start enumerating the Kubernetes protocol. We can start uh, Kubernetes roasting or ASR ASR roasting, but we don't have knowledge about the existing users on the system. So before starting off with Kubernetes, let's first try the luck our luck with port 139, the NetBIOS server. So what we are going to do? We're going to use SMB map. So let me show you guys here. So where I started, I think I have to do it one more time for you. Yeah, so SMB map, specify the host and the IP address, we enumerate the shares on the system. As you can see, these are the shares we have. And with every share, we have the name and we have the permission. So among all the shares, we have only replication that's available for read-only access or anonymous access. So the natural course of action is to start with this share, replication. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need to redo the step one more time for you guys. I can't see it in the output. So what we're going to do use SMB client and we're going to specify the share. Since we don't we don't have a username yet, uh, we're not gonna specify the username option here. So SMB client and that's the path to share. So enter. And since it is available for anonymous access. We don't need to provide the password, so we're going to provide blank password by clicking on or by pressing on enter. And we have a list of, or we have successful login now. Okay, let's start enumerating the content. So the AR, and we have the main directory active HTTP. By the way, you can add the name to, to the host file of your machine. I'm not going to do that, guys, because I have been doing this several times, and it's, it becomes easy if you are solving boxes on Hack the Box or try hack me, you must be uh, aware of how to add the host name to the host file. All right, so we are over this. CD active DAR. So we have these directories, policies, scripts. Now let's go to policies. And judging by the output here, as you can see, these, this is, these are actually files related to the group policy editor. Which means, if we are lucky, we can grab in the encrypted passwords of the users in Group Policy Editor. Group Policy stores sometimes stores the encrypted passwords of the users. I'm going to put the link of this article in the video description so you can have a look on this weakness. It's about finding passwords in this volume and exploiting group policy preferences. Technically, you will be able to, if lucky, you'll be able to grab encrypted passwords of certain users. Among them is the administrator. So let's find out here. So we're going to need to look at this one, this directory, paste. And as per the article, we're going to go to machine. And here we go to preferences. Groups. And we have this XML file. So we're going to grab a copy of this file by executing get groups 
All right, I'm not gonna execute that. I have it on my machine. Exit ls cat groups, and this is the XML file we have. As you can see, we have an active username here. It is for the service ticket granting something. As I can, I'm trying to decode the letter here. Letters here, and then we have the C password. This is an encrypted password. So when we grab the encrypted passwords from the group policy editor using this method, we're going to need to decrypt them. One way to decrypt them is to use the GPP decrypt in Kali. It is a tool to decrypt such kinds of passwords found in group policy. And this is the encrypted password. We're going to click enter and we have the password already decrypted. That's the password and that's the username. Now the next step is to come back to the list of shares we have uncovered. Here they are. And we want to grab the administrator flag. As you can see, we have an active directory here or disk for the username we have just found find the password for. We're going to log in to the to this share and provide the password we have just uncovered. So we're going to scroll down. Let's see here. No up. Okay, this time we're going to use SMB client to log into the uh, no, not the replication, the other one. SMB client, log into the users share. Okay. And then specify the username um, SVC. Now, why users? Because as you can see, according to the output of the SMB map that we first contacted at the very first of the enumeration, we can see the active shares here. Now, users is among them. That's how we want to log into this share. We provided the switch dash u indicating that we want to provide the username to authenticate with to the share users. And then the password for the user or for this user, we have already grabbed it. So we provide the password and we are logged in, as you can see. We list the current contents of this share. We have these directories, of course. We are interested only in logging into the directory of the that carries the username. So desktop and then we have the user flag. That's the user flag. All right. So now let's go back to what we have found earlier. Now we have a password and a username. If you go back to them now, scan. I told you guys that with Kerberos running on the machine, we can start Kerberosting, meaning that we can grab the ticket granting tickets of all the users, including the administrator, and we can try the luck by cracking them with John the Ripper. So for that, we're going, or we used, I used, let me show you guys. So for Kerberos Roasting, I have a separate section on my notes here, Active Directory Notes. Um, so we can enumerate user names and tickets on Kerberos. We have two options. Uh, there is Kerbrut, it needs to be installed on Kali, or we have the option to use get users SPNs. Basically, we grab the server's principal names and we grab, the, gra grab their TGTs. Once we are able to grab the tickets, we can crack them using John the Ripper, or we can crack them using Kerbrut. So I use John the Ripper to do that. Let's go back. So get users, this is part of the impact set of tools. Make sure you have it before running this tool. This is not by default uninstalled on Kali. So get user service principal names, dash request, and we add the domain and the username we have. It's going to ask for the password. We already have it. And as you can see, we have a username and this username has this hash. So what you can to do here to save yourself the hassles, you can use the option dash output file. So the tool will save the hash into a file you specify and then you can use the file directly in John the Ripper. Let me show you where. So here, as you can see with John the Ripper, using the rock queue list, I specified the file that contained the hash. This one. And this is the format of the hash. So John the Ripper automatically recognized the type of the hash and we were able to crack it. And that's the password ticket master one uh, 1968. Now having a user, having an administrator username and the password we can log in now to the system as administrator with PS exec or even win RM, but PS exec is more suitable for this scenario according to the nmap scan output. So PS exec also part of impact tools, specifying username and then the password and we are logged in as administrator. Then we can grab the flag of the root. 
So the key takeaways from this challenge is guys, whenever you are pen testing an architecture machine, rely heavily on Nmap scan. It's your first guide. So if you see Kerberos running and NetBIOS, try to enumerate the shares, try to grab usernames. Uh, if you grab usernames active on the Active Directory, you can start enumerating the usernames, maybe grab the tickets using uh, the advantage that, that Kerberos is running on the machine. You can use Kerberosting or you can use AS Rebrosting to enumerate users, tickets, grab as much information as possible, and then you can maybe use them to log. If you are lucky, you can log into the machine with with um, one of the users you have found earlier. We can actually also, by the way, guys, we can also log in as this username we have uncovered earlier, this one, using PS exec, but we are not interested because there is nothing in there. We grab the uh, user flag using SMB. Uh, so basically, that's why we use only the administrator password, or we logged it only to the, to the administrator um, username. So that was it, guys. I hope you like this, and I will see you later.